All right. Wow, what a moment. Um, uh, what an environment. This is really cool. Uh, first thing I want to do really is, uh, those pictures are really cool. I can remember every moment from every photo. It's, um, it's, it's funny how football works. Uh, first thing I want to do, though, I want to thank the Hall of Fame committee uh, for, for selecting me, uh, for making the decision to allow me into the Hall of Fame. Um, it's something I worked towards my whole life, really. Um, we got a long list here, and I'm going to cover them all, OK? Uh, I want to thank my mom. Uh, she's here for supporting my dreams, uh, from Little League all the way up through high school football, making sure that I made it to practice, uh, workouts, more workouts, um, making sure I ate, uh, making sure I slept, making sure that I did my schoolwork to put myself in position, um, really to have an opportunity to take this thing to the next level. Um, my wife, Jamila, uh, being my rock, met her while I was here in college. Um, she was an uh, ear when we lost games. Uh, <laughs> she was an uh, ear when we won ball games. And she would just sit there and sit there and sit there, and I would just rant and vent and vent and talk about coverages and plays that were missed and where I went wrong. And, uh, but those moments allowed me to uh, refresh and restart the next day. So I'm thankful for you. And uh, also for being my rock still, leading our family. Uh, to Coach Lambert, Coach Lambert's here somewhere. Uh, yeah, Coach Brad Lambert, um, he made like, it's like a two and a half hour drive to Fayetteville, North Carolina um, to come offer me a scholarship out of Eden Smith High School. And I'll never forget that morning, uh, Coach Butts, he said, hey, one of these coaches is coming to see you. So at the time, everybody was telling me I was too short, I was too slow, I was too small. So I was like, okay, we're going to go through this thing again. But this time, I'm going to go work out before he gets here. All right. So I got into the weight room early that morning. I had an Antoine Walker basketball jersey on. I did curls. I did squats. I did bench press. I wore my older brother's Timberland boots, so I was two inches taller. Um, <laughs> I wanted to just try something different. So nobody else would come and tell me I was too short, too small. And he walked in there and he was like, hey, what do you think about playing football at Wake Forest? And I was like, yeah, let's do it. You know, it's like, uh, I didn't have any other options. <laughs> but it's funny how it came about. Uh, Coach Lobo was watching um, Andre Brown tape from uh, Greenville J. H. Rose High School. And we had played them twice that year. And Andre Brown was rushing for 200 yards a game. And when he played us, he had um, 17 yards, <clears throat> 17 yards the first game, and he had 40 yards the second game in a broken rib. And that's how my take came about. And that's how Coach Lambert got to Fayetteville, North Carolina. So Coach Lambert, thank you for coming to offer me that scholarship. Uh, next, uh, Coach James Adams, he's coach to us now. Uh, back at the time, he was teammate and player. Uh, coach Adams, from day one, mentored me. Um, I was different. I was a little loose. I was fiery. I was talkative. I was loud. I was rambunctious, and he was the only one that told me to keep it up. <laughs> Nobody else, it, it bothered everybody else. It didn't bother him. He told me I was doing the right thing. Uh, he showed me how to be a, 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 a collegiate student athlete. You really did, James. I appreciate you being selfless and, being, and serving. Thank you. Um, my teammates, all of them. Um, but I, I was part of a special group. Uh, some of you may have heard of the Fresh Deeks. One day in practice, um, the scout team defense gets called up, and I was playing scout team offense, playing tight end, and I weren't happy about it. And then finally, they sent me down to scout team defense, and we were just wrecking havoc in practice. And the guy at the time, Coach Weikert, was running the um, scout team defense, or the, really the offense. He gave us a name. He called us the Fresh Deeks. And we were like, yo, what's that about? He's like, man, you guys are just, we were all freshmen, obviously, but you guys just come out here and y'all practice hard. You run around, you hit, you're having fun. That's just who you guys are. We can, know that we can identify a Fresh Deek when we hear one and when we see one. And really from that moment, it became a lifestyle for us. Um, I'll say this. You guys, my teammates, made it really easy for me to give the team and the program everything I had. Made it real easy. Also, you guys made it really hard for me to quit. All right, I'm a fresh deek for life. Um, and really, in closing, to my kids,
uh, this moment. It represents limitless possibilities. These possibilities are on the other side of discipline, passion, and dreaming big. If you believe, they will. Thank you guys, and I appreciate you. Go Deeks.